In this video, we will show you in real time the blood transfusion station using a butterfly needle to take bloods. To start the station, you will prepare a saline infusion and you should begin by cleaning your hands thoroughly with the alcohol gel available. Once this is done, you can collect your tray and clean it with a clonel wipe, ensuring to start from the inside of the tray and working outwards. Once done, place a giving set into the tray. Along with 0.9% sodium chloride, making sure to check the drug, dose and date. Take off the foil from the top of the saline bottle. Close the roller ball of the giving set firmly and remove the cap from over the spike. Ensure here you don't touch the key part. Insert the spike of the giving set into the saline bottle and squeeze the chamber of the giving set until it's about half full. At this point, you can hang your infusion on a stand. Now, open the roller ball smoothly to ensure no bubbles form in the tubing. Let the saline fill the tubing up to the end. You can then close the roller ball and hang up the tubing. Once you've prepared your infusion, you can move on to prepping your tray for cannulation and blood taking. Clean your hands thoroughly as before. and then clean your tray with a clonel wipe. Next, collect all the equipment that you'll need, discarding any packaging that you don't want to take to the patient's bedside. You'll need a pair of non-sterile gloves, four chlorhexidine wipes, which you can open at this point, a tourniquet, a butterfly needle, which you can attach to a vacutainer. A blue cannula. a purple blood bottle, and aerobic and anaerobic blood culture bottles. You will need a VBG syringe, a cannula sticker, gauze for the butterfly needle, and two pieces of tape.
make sure you also have gauze for your cannula. Next, you'll need to prepare your flush and bung. Find sodium chloride. And a 10 milliliter syringe, as well as a blunt fill needle. Attach the needle to the syringe, check the sodium chloride is in date, then draw it up into the syringe. Immediately discard this needle into the sharps bin. The syringe can then be placed back into its packaging. Find a bung. and attach it to the syringe. Then push a small amount of saline through the bung to remove any air. Remove the tops from the blood culture bottles and wipe the top with different areas of the same chlorhexidine wipe. You are now ready to go to the patient's bedside. This is how your tray should look as you approach the patient's bedside. Enter the patient area and wash your hands thoroughly as before. Put on your non-sterile gloves. and identify the patient by their wristband. You can now place the tourniquet. Palpate for a vein. Then open the chlorhexidine wipe into a parachute and clean the area thoroughly in a grid-like pattern. Unsheathe the butterfly needle. and insert into the vein. Take aerobic
and then anaerobic blood culture bottles. making sure to invert them a couple of times. Then fill a purple blood tube. Finally, collect a VBG. Though not shown here, it may be useful to tape down a wing of the butterfly needle so you can use both hands for the VBG. This is shown in more detail in the butterfly blood taking video. Depress the plunger of the VBG to expel any air. And release the tourniquet. Remove and retract the needle, immediately covering the puncture site with gauze, and dispose of the sharp in the sharp's waste bin. Tape down the gauze, and move on to cannulation. You don't need to re-identify the patient here, as you haven't left the bedside. Tie the tourniquet. Palpate for a vein. And clean the site as before. Make sure your gauze is open and accessible. Then prepare your cannula. Anchor the skin and advance the cannula until you see primary flashback. Then retract the needle slightly and advance the cannula fully into the vein. You can remove the tourniquet at this point. Remove the cannula needle and dispose in the sharps bin, and attach the bung and flush by twisting clockwise. Give the saline flush, checking for any swelling around the cannulation site. Remove the syringe from the bung and dispose of the gauze. Attach the cannula sticker, starting with the strips to secure the wings. Then apply the main sticker.
Clean the end of the bung with a chlorhexidine wipe. Then remove the cap from the end of the infusion tubing and attach to the bung by twisting clockwise. Open the roller ball and look for drips in the chamber of the giving set. The rate of infusion can be calculated via the drip rate. Before leaving the patient bedside, ensure you've completed the date and time sticker for the cannula found on the cannula sticker. As well as labelling the blood bottles appropriately, either by hand or through printed stickers. Discard of any waste. Then remove your gloves through the pinch pull method. Once again, clean your hands thoroughly. This is the end of the blood transfusion station.